countdown is on to get Americans enrolled, have you heard? In Obamacare by tonight's midnight deadline. Vice President Joe Biden attempting to appeal now to the young people, so he went on the Rachel Ray Show today. Let me say something to any young person listening. If you don't need this for your peace of mind, do it for mom. Do it That's for your right. dad. Get health coverage. Do it for mom. The Obama administration says more than 6 million people have signed up for health care. Still no word, though, on how many actually have paid their first premiums or how many had their previous plans canceled because of Obamacare. Charles Payne is a Fox Business Network contributor. Julie Roginski, a former political advisor to Democratic Senator Frank Lautenberg of New Jersey and is a Fox News contributor. David Avella is the president of GOPAC, a Republican political training organization. All right, Charles, you're part of the power <laughs> panel today. We decided to mix it up yeah, a little bit here. So what do you make of Joe Biden, the vice president, reaching out to mom and do something for mom and do something for dad and do something for the family. Well, listen, uh, you know the old saying, uh, everything in the kitchen sink? That was the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> you had LeBron, you had, you know, all these cool hip people. And if you can't reach uh, the millennials, throw Joe Biden in there. <laughs> but you got to be worried about this. And that's in their worry, right? The 7 million number is dubious. That's the uh, com com composition of the people involved. Uh, so far, we've been hearing about 25 percent millennials. It should be at least 40 uh, percent. How many people have paid? Maybe 80 percent, according to the ins ins uh, insurance industry. How many people that didn't have insurance now have insurance? And the last time I heard it was all speculation because they won't tell us it was 400,000 out of millions and millions. Right. Well, so there's a lot of things to be worried about. Are they smart, though, to go on shows like Rachel Ray, though, Julie? Because during this interview, Rachel Ray teared up about Obama. Look at Rachel Ray. She was like, I, well, I don't know what that was. She was like... Well, apparently her, brother, apparently her brother. Apparently her brother has some sort of an illness, and he was able to get coverage through Obamacare. See, so there it made her go. sad. Um, well, I'm, I'm happy for her brother that he was able to do that. Uh, actually, Rand came out with a study over the weekend. The LA Times did a very extensive story about this mm -hmm. that essentially showed that 10 million people who previously didn't have health care will now have health care thanks to Obamacare. That's 10 million people. Those are people you can't easily disqualify. Those are people that when you talk about repealing Obamacare, you're talking about taking away their health care. When are they going to get it, though? Less, when are they going to get it? Hopefully, as soon as they sign up. Hopefully well, now. But the interesting thing is that to also go along with that report right. is the fact that a huge number of uninsured, David, haven't even gone to the website. The uh, focus on the deadlines and the focus on the signups only really mask what are the real problems with this health care law. Premiums are going to double. Hospitals are going to start stop taking Medicaid patients. They're going to be forced to. Doctors are going to quit taking on new patients. This laws has serious fundamental problems, and we're not. Um, with all respect to the focus on the deadlines, they're not the problem with this law. Mm. And Republicans would be smart to start talking about things like tax fairness, start talking about portability, uh. start talking about um, frivolous lawsuits, things that would actually start helping people have a better health care system. Well, maybe also the economy, because I want to move on to this. A new warning from. Fed Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen, who says the economy and job markets still far from healthy, saying, quote, the U.S. economy is still considerably short of the two goals assigned to the Federal Reserve by the Congress of low and stable inflation and maximum sustainable employment. So the unemployment rate currently stands at 6.7 percent. And Yellen says the large pool of partly employed workers making things even worse. All right, Charles. You're the king of pain and also the king of the economy. <laughs> so what do you make of her statements? No, she's got an amazing point because the part-time workers are people who are sitting out this market, the jobs market, are putting themselves in a very difficult position. The longer you go without a job, the more difficult it's going to be to the point where you might become part of this permanent underclass of millions of people. The part-time work part is also alarming and worrisome as well. You know, she made some comments a week ago that kind of spooked the market a little bit. And she wants Wall Street to know mm -hmm. it's not about the QE thing. It's about keeping rates low yeah. longer and being friendly towards the economy if she could. That was when the Dow fell 114 points. Uh, when she said something, though, today, it went up 110 points, Julie. Yeah, and I think Charles is right. You know, I feel like the market's almost addicted. It's like a crack addiction to this quantitative easing. The minute the federal chairman starts talking about taking it away, it's like taking away the crack yeah. pipe, everybody but starts that, panicking. I do want to make it and clear. It's not QE as much as raising rates. No, because they've already lowered but, QE three times, and we're near an all-time high. We might probably close right, an all-time high. David, right. raising what, rates, same thing. Uh, what Janet Yellen is, in essence, saying, in the spirit of baseball and today being opening day, she has to be the pinch hitter because the folks in Washington right. have struck <laughs> out every time they've tried to create jobs. All right. Thanks for tying it all up for us. Panel, power panel. Thanks. Thank you, man.
Thanks. Thank Go Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Scary scene as hundreds of protesters met by officers in Rye gear. We have the latest on